So hey guys, I'm back here with a coloring book haul uh, that I thought I would show you guys. It's quite a large one um, with varied books, so here we go. Um, the first thing I got was these glitter glue pens. Um, the brand is Stuck or Stuck. Uh, here in Australia, it's really hard to get the um, uh, stickles. Uh, it's really expensive to buy stickles, so I just go to the cheap shop. These are like $2, um, and you get all of these in the packet, and it's the same sort of thing. It's just glittery glue, like a 3D effect, so I bought these. So that's what I use. Okay, now on to the books. I have fallen in love with colouring by numbers. <laughs> And I never thought years ago that I would buy this book. I saw them in the shops. I knew that they were around, but I was never interested in coloring these Quirkle books. And now that I've done a few color by numbers, I thought I would buy a couple and see what they were like. And I have absolutely fallen in love with these Quirkle books. So the first one I bought... Um, is this one which is the icons one there's 20 icon portraits in here if you haven't seen it before it's by Thomas Pervitt who is actually a Melbourne um, artist here in Australia so that's fantastic and I mean if you didn't get on board Quirkles years ago I suggest go get Quirkles now because you're missing out <laughs> Um, I saw someone do some on their YouTube channel um, not long ago and I thought, I have to get these books. Why didn't I get these books years ago? So you basically colour in the circles in five different shades if you um, are not familiar with this, um, with five being the lightest tone and the first one being the, um, being the darkest tone. And you just do it colour by number. So the first one I did was on the 25th of the 2nd. And no, I did not show you this in my um, in my last video with my February colourings because I wanted to show this book in my haul. Uh, and this is Jim Morrison, in case you don't know, from The Doors. My husband absolutely loves the doors. He used to have posters on his wall as a teenager and, you know, all the records and CDs and stuff. So I had to do Jim Morrison first. And I think he turned out absolutely awesome. So the lightest shade I did was a very light grey and the darkest was like the chocolate brown. And then... I decided to do just, uh, what's it, it's the first today, so on the 27th, so two days ago, I did Audrey Hepburn, and I did her all in shades of purple, and again, the um, lightest colour, hmm, let me see here, the lightest was, yeah, like a, a very light grayish purple and the darkest is up here in her hair and again doesn't she look awesome <laughs> i absolutely love these these are huge books by the way they're like a3 kind of size um portraits um and they are so good to do the only thing that um I don't like about them is that some of the circles with the numbers in them are so tiny I actually have to work with a magnifying glass sometimes uh, but it doesn't really bother me I just put the magnifying glass in one hand and I color with the other um, still do it in front of the TV <laughs> you know what women are like we can multitask no worries <laughs> um, so yeah that's the only thing some of these circles are, are you know with the numbers are very tiny and i don't have the best eyesight like i do need glasses for reading so if you have to have glasses for reading 
I would say that you'd probably struggle like I do seeing some of the smaller circles. So yeah, you may need a magnifying glass. I didn't have my reading glasses on because I don't like to use them. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad like that. Um, but yeah, I, I did... Yeah, it was so good using the magnifying glass. I actually enjoyed it because it made the circles look huge and I kept in the lines a lot better. <laughs> so that's that one. But in the back is, if you haven't seen before, it's got the 20 portraits all in black and white, um, what's in the book. Um, but it's totally up to you what um, five shades of colour you do each one. So it's really, really fun. So if you're into colouring by numbers, um, go get your Quirkles books. They are so cool. Absolutely love it. This is one of my books that I want to finish um, this year, 2021. Now, the second board I, book I bought is, well, they're not in particular order, actually. But the second one I'm going to show you, I'll just put these to the side here is Walt Disney's coloring book collection. Now, this is another one of my vintage coloring books. And I believe this one was, yes, it says it was reprinted in 1992. So, wow, 92, 02, 22. So, it's 19 years old, this book. Um, it is a kid's book. It does have a little browning to the pages. It does have the children's colouring um, paper. But I actually really like that paper. With my colouring pencils, I discovered that it's really, really nice um, to work with. Because it does have that little bit of tooth in the paper, what your pencils can grip onto. And this is just so adorable, cute. It's just all Mickey Mouse and Pluto. And, you know, of course, you've got Minnie there. Um, yeah, it's got a couple of, um, what do you call it? Sorry about all the ums. <laughs> I'm just an umma, sorry. <laughs> it has, what was I going to say? It does have some of the activity pages in here as well, but there's not too, too many. It's mainly colouring images. And I can't wait to start colouring in this one. Absolutely love Mickey when he's dressed as a cowboy. So that's probably going to be one of the first that I do in here. Um, the images are just so cute and it is an original Disney book. Um, it actually says Disney Publishing, the Walt Disney Company, uh, so it is all authentic uh, colouring pages. So absolutely had to have this and I may even photocopy some of the um, pages onto um, other papers so I can colour in markers as well. Because it is vintage, I don't want to lose these pictures. So I really love that. And I mean, look how thick that is. That is a thick, thick book. I don't know if it says how many pages it is. But for a 19-year-old book that has never been coloured, I just had to grab it. So it's worth keeping your eye out for those vintage colouring books, um, especially if you are into Disney. This is my second one. The other one is Huey, Dewey and Louie. Um, yeah, and if you're like me and you like colouring with pencils as well, so these are just fine for that, or crowns as well. Now, the next one I got was this one here, Line Spots and Dots Halloween. Now, I have not done any of these, but I have seen them on a couple of people's channels. And so, I was after one, I have tried one of the spiral ones, um, which I just downloaded um, online. And I tried that. And it was okay, but the lines were very thin. So I thought I'd just try this one without the spirals. So this is just line spots and dots. And I thought it was, you know, good to do. It's hard to do a flip through. Um, but I like the size of the lines. And the dots seem decent size as well. So I'm going to give this one a go. And see if I like it. And then if I do, 
I'm going to uh, maybe try one of the spiral books. Um, so yeah, it doesn't actually have like at the back or anything the answers to any of these. So that's really cool. I don't like looking um, at the answers. I like to get a surprise. So especially these line ones, you really have no idea what they're going to be. So I'm really looking forward to doing this one in March. And this is by Kira Shashneva. Shashneva, yes, I think it is. Um, and I got that on Amazon. The next one I purchased, which you probably have all seen before, but remember I'm catching up because I've been away for a while <laughs> and, and really enjoying uh, my Colour by Numbers is this one, Colour by Number Mystery Quest. I've seen numerous videos with this particular book, with this particular cover, and I thought the images in here are going to be uh, really nice. I've had a look at a few images that's in here and then whenever I see this book pop up again, I fast forward it so it doesn't spoil the surprise. And again, this doesn't have, um, you know, a key to what the pictures are in this book. It's all a surprise. So looking forward to this as well because this one's in triangles and um, what is it? Octagons? No, they're not octagons. One, two, three, four, five. Pentagons. Hmm. What's the one that's got six sides? It's not an octagon. Pentagon's got five. Hexagon. Yeah, it must be a hexagon. Uh, I haven't got any books with those in them either. So, did you like my working out just then? <laughs> I have to think. Octagon's got eight. Pentagon's got five. They're the ones I know, and then I have to work from there. <laughs> Over. Okay, so the next one I got, which I mentioned in my last video, is the Chibi Girls Coloring Book Volume 3, another extremely popular book. This one I got because of Danny Buttons. So, and this was actually available on Amazon Australia. I was so surprised. So, I'm going to be doing uh, a lot of colouring in this book is just so cute. I love Chibi Girls. So I finally got a Chibi Girls uh, colouring book. And I'm going to do like Danny Button does and cut the page in half. And my daughter can do half and I'm going to do the other half. And then stick it back together. I think this is a really good book for that. I think um, Danny made a great choice to um, choose this book to use for that sort of thing. So that's looking absolutely cute. Can't wait to get started in that one. The next one I bought is another Quirkles. And I have so been waiting for this. This is Wallace and Gromit Quirkles. Um, again by Thomas Pervitt. And I believe... Well, Wallace and Gromit, I believe, is a... Um, what would you call it a cartoon i guess yeah a cartoon uh made i believe in the uk and i love wallace and gromit uh, my one of my favorite movies with them is the one with the were rabbit i just love that movie and every time it's on tv I just sit down, I have to watch it uh, whatever i'm doing i'm like i end up watching it because it's just such a cute movie and you know me, I'm a real dog lover. I love anything with dogs in it. It's um, so cute. Um, at the back here is the um, pictures. And there goes my chihuahua <laughs> biking crazy. He's going to come in any second. Sorry about that. Uh, so really looking forward to doing um, these. Um, I believe that Wallace and Gromit uh, wasn't well I'm not sure but I don't think it was as popular in America I don't think maybe they may have not even released this one in America I'm not sure if I'm wrong you know let me know uh, because I don't know the comic was as popular as it was in England as as well as in Australia so but this is just so cute I mean I had to get it uh, the next one I ordered is an 
oldie, I believe, but a goodie. And this is Color Quest Animals, Extreme Challenges to Complete and Color. This is by John Woodcock. And again, I saw this on a few um, YouTube channels and just had to get it because I'm really into the coloring by numbers. Uh, there is the answers at the back, all with adorable pictures. Of course, I love the dog and probably going to do that one first. The big St. Bernard there in the Swiss Alps by the looks. And what else got my attention? I think I saw this one done with the ladybugs and that looked awesome as well. So that's why those two images is why I got this book basically. But they're all really, really nice. The squares are a nice size. They look like five by fives. Um, the numbers are good size, but they are very light. So I don't know how I'll go doing this at night time because they are printed fairly light. And then we have the hexagons again and the triangles. Yeah, the numbers are, I don't know if you can see that, but the numbers are extremely, can you see that? They are extremely printed lightly. I guess that's so that you can't see it once you've colored. Um, this one here, is like all just different patterns so that's why i like this book too is because it's not just all squares uh, it's got the hexagons triangles and just the all over pattern so i thought this was a really nice one to get it's a big size again it's not as big as the quirkles but you know not far off um, so I really like this one as well and I'm also um, going to buy the next on my list is the Colour Quest. Uh, I think it's got a big um, cheater on the front and that one looks really good too. So let me know if you have any of these books and you want to do a colour along, um, like a buddy colour, sorry. Um, because I love doing buddy colours. <laughs> I've only done one, but it was a lot of fun. And I think it's a nice thing to do to share on your channel. So, yeah, again, with any of these books, if you want to do a buddy colour, just um, write to me um, below in the comments and um, I'll get back to you. The next one I got was um, at my local store. Uh, we went out on the weekend. I went with my husband and there was a store uh, that I wanted to go in to see if they had any colouring books, and they did. Um, now, this is just a children's one. It's called My Amazing Colour by Numbers Activity Book. Um, but the pictures in here were really, really cute, and it was only $4, and it's pretty basic. It's got two, four, six, it's got eight, eight colours. Uh, each page has only got eight colours to use. Uh, but they're so cute, these little pictures. Like, you know, this one with the bunny would be nice for Easter. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you've probably seen these types of books before. I've already done one. I did this one, thought it was so cute, a little chinchilla. Um, but what I did is I did try to sort of jazz it up a little bit. So... When it said um, green is number eight, um, yes, I did use green, but I used different shades of green in different parts. So the leaves and the grass, the background grass and the front grass is all supposed to be the one green, but you know, I just use different shades of green. Um, the chinchilla itself, it says orange. I didn't want to do an orange, so I used more of a, a reddy brown. Um, so don't always stick to the rules, uh, but I just think it looks a bit nicer that way. Um, yeah, so you get this sort of thing. Look at the hamster in the wheel. But these are just, I see a lot of people, you know, do these as well. So I couldn't, you know, I couldn't pass it up. Um, really fun, cute, quick little colour by numbers. So... Yeah, so we've got that one. That's by Igloo Books. The next one I got was from that same um, store. 
and I had to get this one. It was so cute. Um, yeah, it's called Superheroes Mix and Match Coloring. But I thought the superheroes were drawn so damn cute. I really love the style. Now, the pages are all cut in half so that you can mix and match. They are double-sided. So I'm going to have to use my um, Crayolas in it. I'm not going to be able to use... Um, I'm not going to be able to use my uh, woohoos in it. So, but I'm thinking at first I thought, oh, this is good because I could do a buddy color with my daughter and she could, you know, do the top half and I do the bottom half. But then I was thinking what I might do is I might just, I don't know. I was thinking of maybe sticking, you know, the pages together like that like actually sticking them together so it is a full page but then I guess if I do that I'm going to have the tape on the back and then yeah I'm not going to be able to do the back page because it's got the tape on it unless I color it first and then put the tape on <laughs> I'm trying to work out what to do but they were so cute I just like look at these images they're like this I just I don't know who drew this Maybe it has an artist. I'll have to have a look for you. But they're just so cute. I love, I love them. I love all the characters. And, you know, they're not really basic. You know, some of them are quite detailed. So, yeah, I had to get it. And again, I think it was like $4. So I thought, why not? I'll, I'll give it a shot. So, yeah, that's when I got Again, that's by Igloo Books. It says it's illustrated by Steve Brown. So I might have to look him up because they are really, really cute. Uh, so that's just a little one I got. Um, I also bought this one because I wanted a new Mandela book. I've got a really huge Mandela book that my daughter, um, one of my daughters works in. But the Mandalas are huge. Um, and they take a long time to complete and I want to do mandalas but I don't want to spend too much time on them so I picked up this book it's called Mind Waves Calming Coloring it says relax and distress with 10 20 and 30 minute coloring pages so that's what I liked about it if you flip through at the start, you have take 10. So all of these ones here should only take you about 10 minutes. So I thought that was really cool. And then you get to the next section and you've got, you take 20. So these ones, you know, should take a bit longer. So they're a little bit more detailed and they, you know, 20 minutes. And then of course you get to the back, and that's your half an hour one, so they're even more detailed. So I thought that was a really good idea. So, yeah, they're not too overly detailed, but they do take you a bit longer. So depending on how much time you are, you can pick which one you want to do. And they're all really nice. Um, and a bonus that comes with it, it says um, stream-free audio to enhance your colouring experience. And then it's also got an eight-page mindfulness guide by the neuroscientist, Dr. Stan Rodsky. Um, and it talks about the color, of, uh, color science, where different colors, um, what's behind your color choice, like maybe you're feeling happy or determined. Um, it's got exercises to do about um, deep breathing and uh, yeah, I think that's all about deep breathing. Um, yeah, so that's really good. And then you can also, yeah, um, listen to, I don't know, I'll have to have a look. I don't know whether it's music or it sounds, um, but I'm going to do that and see how, you know, that is so my, I'm thinking of getting this maybe for my mother-in-law as well. Now, she's never coloured in her life, so I don't know if she's going to use it, but she actually has cancer at the moment. Um, and she's looking for ways to, you know, calm her mind and de-stress herself. So 
I thought, hmm, maybe if I get this for her and some markers, you know, she might give it a go. Who knows? Worth a shot. And then the last one I got is this one, which is the large print calm colour by numbers. And I think people may have seen this one before. It's got the colour code at the back. And uh, these are the answers here at the back. And it's also got some answers at the front. And these are really nice to do. I did this one, which I didn't show in my finished colourings for the end of the month because I wanted to show this book in my haul. But um, this is the only page I've done so far. And it's just one of those um, uh, blue and white willow style plates. But yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this one. They're pretty simple. I don't like anything too um, intricate, especially when it comes to colour by numbers. Um, but I thought this one was nice and basic enough, but not too basic um, to grab this one. So, yeah. So if there's anything here that you would like a, um, a proper flip of, let me know. And again, if you want to do a buddy colour, let me know. <laughs> Apart from that, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.